Hello, this is Gary. Uh, I'm planning on making some pancakes. I've got my own recipe. I've been adjusting different uh, spices and things, and uh, I think we're going to come up with something that's pretty nice. I think you're going to enjoy it out of this. It's pretty easy to do, and uh, it, it bypasses a lot of problems that you run into with the regular pancakes. And um, this is kind of a it's an in-between pancake. A lot of pancakes have a real thick uh, body to them, almost like a bread or a cake. And there's some that are real thin, like a crepe. This is really in the middle of both of those. It's pretty wild, but it they cook up really great. I think uh, I've never done it yet, but I think uh, fruit would go real good on it as well. Per fruit, pro fruit probably goes good on just about all of them, I imagine. So uh, let's get going. Hello, and uh, let's uh, let's start making some pancakes. I'm using a clear pitcher that you can pour with, and it works great for this. You don't have to use a scoop and measure it out for each time when you're um, when you're um, pouring them in the pan. So it's. I use about medium eggs for everything, so it makes the recipe pretty good. What I'll typically use is I'll put the egg in first, then I put some salt in it. Just a sprinkle or two. Not a whole lot. A little heavy pinch, maybe. I use some lemon pepper seasoning, too. And that gives you the, uh, that gives you the spice. Then I take a fork, real thin fork, and I beat the egg up real good and get it mixed up. Then I put the milk in it. You're going to get a kick out of this. This is backwards what most people do. That's one gallon, or uh, one cup of uh, the regular milk. I don't use any of that non-fat stuff. I use one kind of milk for everything. And then, um, one spoon of sugar. This is optional. You don't have to use this. I think it just balances out a little bit. One spoon. That's not. That was like. Um, that wasn't a full spoon, so I did two of them. I mix that up a little bit now. Make it a little frothy. Most people will tell you not to do that. This is a quarter teaspoon scoop. So I'm going to use two of these. This is uh, baking powder. So we're going to put a half a teaspoon in. And a half a teaspoon of baking soda. And guess what we're going to do now? Yeah, we're going to mix it up. That's right. The flour I use is an unbleached um, all-purpose flour, and that is um, it's about the it's the average. It makes a pancake you're used to, basically. You could use the uh, the whole wheat flour, the fresh cracked flour, any of that kind of stuff. It's great. Just mix this up. The fork does a nice job. I like this. If you want to use a whisk like this. That's okay, but at this point, you don't want to use the whisk anymore, if you were, because it's going to get too thick. It's going to club up on the whisk. You're going to have a, a big baseball bat eventually. And I give this a good mix. I guess you don't have to, because it'll, it'll cook out in the, in the end anyway. And this is about the last you need of a fork. Now... You've got a nice thin batter. There wasn't too many ingredients, too much crazy stuff. You didn't have to separate the egg yolks from the whites and all that jazz. And this is nice. And uh, next we'll go out to the uh, out to the stove outside, the camp stove. And I'll show you the oil that you would normally put in this. I put it in the fry pan and I just cook it on a little bit of oil. See how nice that is? And see how that just pours right out? So I give this a thumbs up. 
Let's go outside. Let's do some cooking.